pretty good cross wind. Going into the wind. About 250 feet, about 24 miles an hour. We're flying out of West Lafayette today. David's going to take the lead. We'll just fly around for a while. Kind of head in a different direction. Haven't been out this way in a way, in a while. We haven't been out this way in a while. Probably should have grabbed a jacket. But I'll survive. Not too bad out here. It's about uh, 641 on a Sunday evening. Last day of, of July. About 385 feet. Used to fly up here and all the coal dust that would come off of some of the uh, coal burning plants. You'd have a black layer up here and you'd just smell the coal and you'd be in there. You'd go home and you'd smell like coal dust. But since they've closed down the plant, or the plants in this area, you don't get the coal dust in the sky or the smell. 554 feet, 25 miles an hour. Been doing a little bit of uh, adjusting on the carb, changing the uh, rich air and fuel mixture. I went up to uh, 50 to 1 a while back and it ran a little better. And so then uh, ran that for a while and still had a little miss in the middle there. So I started adjusting the, the fuel mix, or the, the air in the fuel mixture, and, uh, and now in the mid-range it seems to run a, a little better. Uh, actually, I'm not getting a miss like I used to get, but I've only you know, I've been doing it for the last few flights. So just kind of testing it, don't want to go too lean, checking the plugs. Plugs are a little bit on the rich side, but that's okay. I'd rather have a little rich than on the lean. So, uh, usually around 40, between in the 4,000s is where I would get my uh, little burps. And, uh, I used my last bottle of a Castor Old 2T today, so I've got about seven gallons of mix, and when that is done, we'll be going to uh, Echo Red Armor, and we'll see how that goes. I bought about... Uh, About 20 gallons worth, uh, about, well, they would make about 20 gallons of fuel. So each little bottle that I have, 1.98 milliliters, I think it is, uh, or 198 milliliters, I'll get it right uh, for 2.5 gallons. which is the same mix I was using with the Castrol and the burn rate is, or the flash rate is the same, or really close. So we'll see how that goes. A couple of years ago we came out here and it looked like they were burying, I guess cemetery graves out here or something, like they were burying. They looked six by uh, six by six holes in the ground. 
Well, six foot deep, six foot long. Side by side, back off to the right. A little bumpy over here. Just lifty, real lifty. Of course, we have the trees over to the left, and the wind is coming off from the left, so. Good about 34, 35. Going with the wind now. About 350 feet. And the sun goes behind those clouds. It gets a little cool. We're over here by Lake Isabella, or not Lake Isabella, but L Lake Lila. I think it is. Lila Lake. You can tell they had a lot of flooded areas down here. Some of the corn didn't take. Yeah, there comes the sun back out. Feels good. Also on the uh, fuel adjustment, I found that uh, if you idle for a while, you let off the throttle and you just kind of coast or idle, and then you would try to give it gas again, you'd get some sputtering. And you'd have to kind of goose it to get it going quite right sometimes. It seems like uh, that's smoothed out. Almost like it had filed the plug a little bit. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's ten deer running down there. About 36 miles an hour. Big Valley. Over here by the sand pit. Hard to see him up there in the sun, but he was off to the left of me. I'm not sure where he's at now. About 96 feet in the air, doing about 28 miles an hour, 4,200 RPMs. Still have a little crosswind coming off. So we'll probably go ahead and set her down. We've been flying for an hour. So we'll set her down, put her jacket on, get a little cool up here, fill it up with fuel. Turn the strobes on and go for another flight.
wind coming off the left side, so the wing will want to go to the right. 